what is good everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and rock that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest video also leave a like down below for your boy let's get started on the screen i have a list of my dry ingredients and that's what i'm gonna be using to season these beautiful boneless chicken thighs Now I'm just gonna mix up these dry ingredients so we can season up this chicken correctly and we can season up that chicken proper. And guys, when it comes to me, you know what I'm gonna say? You got to season generously. You're gonna see me go crazy with the seasoning. Guys, don't be scared. That's where the flavor is at. You want those flavors to talk. You want those flavors to speak. So in order to do that, you got to season up that chicken, right? So I'm just going to go crazy and make sure all of these chicken thighs are well coated. All right, now that our chicken is seasoned up proper, it's time to wrap this chicken in this bacon. Bacon lovers, I know this, this recipe is just talking to you guys, and you now get a chance before the holiday season to practice, practice your wrapping skills. We're gonna wrap this chicken up. I'm using two strips of bacon per, uh, per one of these uh, strips of chicken thigh, depending on how big or small your chicken is, you can use more or less. I want my chicken to kind of be completely covered in bacon, just like so. And I'm just gonna repeat the process until all my chicken are sitting inside of bacon. All right, once you have them all wrapped up, they should be looking like so. I got them all wrapped up nice and neat, stacked in this cast iron pan. You can also use a wire rack if you want. Like I said, my uh, oven is preheated to 400 degrees, and we're gonna toss these bad boys in there for about 25 to 30 minutes or so, I would say. You want it to be nice and golden brown when they come out. You wanna be looking like this. Oh my goodness, bacon lovers, bacon lovers, bacon lovers. I know it's talking to you. It's talking to me right now, looking at this, <laughs> this screen, this computer screen while I'm editing. And to take it to the next level, I'm gonna slap some barbecue sauce on these bad boys. It is completely optional to put barbecue sauce. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can also substitute this, bas this uh, barbecue sauce for something you like. Uh, you could throw some buffalo sauce or any sauce you of your choosing for the most part but i'm gonna throw some barbecue sauce in there and then i'm also gonna toss these bad boys back in the oven on broil and keep my eye on it because when you put something on broil they cook really quickly and voila once they come out this is what you get super easy super delicious hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new i will see you guys on the next video